Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am driving this the Volvo XC90 T8 Excellence. It's a plug-in hybrid straight away. Let's open the engine bay. And as you can see, it says Volvo right there. Very silent engine because probably it's running on hybrid power right now. Insulation right there. And it's actually quite a big engine bay, but Volvo is only doing four cylinder engines for the moment. Yeah, actually that is the way forward for them. Meanwhile, this is the washer fluid. You put it right there, hydraulic struts, of course. And as you can see, the design is really nice. The new design of Volvo cars is extremely attractive. You get this large grille. Volvo written right there and there's a camera here of course front parking sensors there's the towing hook this is the headlamp washer and the lights are really very beautiful you can see there's a lot of LEDs okay now the engine has kicked in there are a lot of LEDs on offer and of course it offers great illumination at night as well so the design is really nice and this car is running on 21 inch wheels yes that's right 275 40 21 s and uh, the alloy wheel design is nice but could have been a little bit more adventurous this size is big gets air suspension you can see that as well the suspension system this is so massive so massive that i'm out of words meanwhile here you obviously get a camera here below here because of the 360 degree parking camera which is there with this car and underneath this you get a light as well actually underneath here somewhere yeah there, there is a light of the vehicle which is kind of the puddle light which is shown at night and as you can see the design it's almost five meters in length meanwhile let me give you a good glimpse of the car now this being the excellence trim says excellence right there excellence and it also gets this chrome plating here on the b pillar as well as the c pillar and it looks very premium as well now this is actually for the fuel yeah that is the fuel lid but let me come to another interesting bit which once i circle around i will be able to show it to you so design is really nice well balanced of course a lot of ground clearance on offer as well but what is this if that is the fuel lid well this is where you actually charge the vehicle so it's a hybrid you can charge the vehicle from here because this is a plug-in hybrid design is really very nice well balanced and of course quite beefy as well coming to the rear typical volvo tail lights like they're vertical they're long they're nice as well it says t8 twin engine all wheel drive right there and the lights look really beautiful at night obviously a lot of leds in this vehicle meanwhile rear parking sensors there's the towing hook at the rear there's a reverse parking camera here as well there's a rear spoiler to press this button and there the boot opens as you can see the boot is of not much use because of the full size spare wheel which is placed right here on top meanwhile there's a 12 volt charging socket here there's a hook here as well there's a hook here as well so there are plenty of hooks and this you can adjust the parcel shelf too meanwhile this is actually the charging cable of the vehicle yes it can be charged using a regular 220 volt power source and you know what these buttons are to increase or decrease the ride height of the vehicle just making it easy to stuff in luggage which i'll show you right now as you can see here yeah the vehicle's ride height is dropping strangers keep coming here to check out the car i don't know why can you please move i'm doing something okay so you can drop the ride height yeah there it goes it's going down it's going down it's going down okay that has gone down quite a bit let's raise it again yep there it goes so as you can see you can press this button just to make it easier to stuff in luggage press this button to lock the tailgate or rather the two buttons one to close the tailgate and one is to lock it as well but this being the excellence has a party trick up its sleeve which i'll show you in a bit but all the doors get passive entry request sensors okay there's an ashtray placement here now this is a four-seater car no it is not a seven seater which the xc90 is known for it's a four seater they've taken the front seats they put it at the rear as well exact same front seats at the rear along with isofix child seat anchors meanwhile you see all the adjustments which are there at the front are also there at the rear because it gets a six way adjustment for the seat now let me get inside and tell you this is very comfortable but somehow the seat is pushed all the way behind so what do i do i press this and there comes the beautiful screen here now i can operate a lot of things so i press this button and i can move this seat ahead in order to increase the space on offer 
so there it goes it's moving all the way ahead making it more comfortable in fact the space increase at the rear is 50 mm due to this seat setup and just so that the cabin is absolutely silent what volvo has also done is given it a glass here yeah there's a glass here so that you can't hear anything from behind meanwhile there's also the mic reception here and you can control a lot of things like i can move this seat ahead using this control here and i can also control heated ventilated and massage function so there's the massage function here i press a button there i can move the seat base ahead to increase the under thigh support as well so under thigh support is not an issue here leg room is not an issue knee room is not an issue headroom is not an issue seats are extremely comfortable you can also get the massage function here you can see these are the massage functions on offer now i'll do one thing i'll explain the massage function when i get to the front seat so you can increase and decrease everything like you know right from the side bolsters to how you want actually the mid part of the seat to be you can see that yeah there are plenty of options here to make this car extremely comfortable for the rear passenger all right that's not all same functions are available here other than the fact that you can't push the driver's seat ahead because that is not safe meanwhile there's a button here in order to cool or heat your drink so if you put your cup here you can cool it it says blue you can heat it it says red or rather it shows those colors and that is also very convenient meanwhile let me put this inside now right here you have got a lot of space to keep stuff and somehow i've just kept my pan protectors there right now there's a laptop charging socket there there's a 12 volt charging socket here there are two usb ports here as well this is deep enough now you might be wondering what is this well these are champagne floats so if you want to celebrate in your car when the chauffeur is driving you can actually fill in drinks and drink here and these are designer glasses this is designed by oriforce from sweden and just look at the attention to detail this crystal looks amazing doesn't it and it right slots in there like properly slots in beautiful treatment here but you know what the drinks will get hot eventually they won't remain cold so how do you manage that well there's a refrigerator here yeah that is a big enough refrigerator and you can keep stuff inside to keep it cool all the time so this is the control actually and right now it's quite chilled inside so yes it also comes with a refrigerator on offer that is a level of comfort and madness on offer now, i believe there should be a screen here or this might be for the tablet placement because there's also a usb charging socket there are actually two usb charging socket is there ac vents are placed here as well they're placed in the center these are the ac control so you can control the air conditioning by pressing these buttons here you can increase or decrease the temperature you can increase or decrease the fan speed as well the space to keep stuff here too meanwhile there's space to keep stuff here too yep there's plenty of space here at the rear in fact the seat can be reclined further you can you know take it ahead and you can recline it further so it's very comfortable a seat and there's good amount of space on offer feels very airy there's a light placement here there's a light placement there there are handles there are hooks there's everything you need and more in fact gets a massive panoramic roof as well but this is just mind-boggling i mean so coolly done this excellence is like the maybach of volvo yeah that's right maybach of volvo however i am unfortunately missing a feature which is the soft door close function so you have to push close the doors let's quickly get into the driver's seat and again there is plenty of features but it's actually really the rear seat which really differentiates itself from the other trims of the volvo xc90 when you open the door it's going to ring like that and and you can see these are the controls for the power windows as well as the outside rear view mirrors there's memory seats you can save up to three people settings here bowers and wilkins written right there and you know what again this is obviously for the electric adjust for the driver's seat proper dead pedal there this is to open the boot this is to open the fuel lid this is to increase or decrease the intensity of the cluster and you can see these are the buttons here this is actually for the rear wiper so straight away when i get inside let me tell you that designer work also extends to this beautiful crystal gear lever looks really nice and swaggy as well look at it beautiful attention to detail here as well now you can close this yeah to give it a nice and neat wooden look meanwhile when you open it there's plenty of space here as well this is the ashtray this is obviously the cigarette lighter here now for you you can smoke anyways you can keep a lot of stuff here too but doesn't get wireless charging because this is actually an old car there's space to keep stuff here two usb ports here too plenty of usb ports inside this vehicle steering feels nice to hold and you get this beautiful speaker treatment here bowers and wilkins written right there now in order to open the glove box you have to press this button and the glove box opens the glove box is actually decent size and this is massive the manual itself meanwhile this is a cool glove box too seats are so comfortable at the front too meanwhile let's open the roof and as you can see it's a massive roof brings in a lot of airy feeling inside the cabin so let me open this as well and this opens decently well in order to fling out your co-passengers whom you don't really like that's why they're wearing the seat belt in order to protect themselves yeah this opens big enough but you have to press it twice to actually open it 
seats supremely comfortable you know if you want to get into massage function i just press a button here on the right and there i can get into massage function okay now when i turn on the massage i have the option of swell i have the option of tread i have the option of advanced lumbar and shoulder too so plenty of options here i can decide if i want high normal or low and i can also increase or decrease the speed which happens to be slow medium and fast right now i just turn off the massage because it's just going to make unnecessary noise meanwhile back into the standard screen as you can see this is actually the button for the ventilated seat function this is for the heat seat function and you can turn on both at the same time and this is for heated steering wheel now it might not be of much use in the hot and humid climate of india but in europe where it snows definitely it works brilliantly well there too now this is obviously the ac controls and you can turn on and off the air conditioning like this this senses os is really very slick works brilliantly well too however all the commands for the system are inside this very screen which makes it a little difficult to operate on the go so let me quickly get into this screen which shows a lot of functions obviously you get a front rear as well as side camera so 360 degree parking camera let me get into reverse right now as i get into reverse that is the reverse parking camera it's showing you where the cameras are it gets adaptive guidelines too and you can obviously you know turn it around the way you want it to see lines if you don't want lines that's also possible if you want the parking sensor not to beep that is also possible and you can also decide if you want any help with park in or park out so it will automatically park the car by moving the steering wheel making it so much more comfortable for you because you don't have to really do much it gets active bending lights it gets bliss which i'll explain when i'm driving the car it has roadside information which will tell you exactly what is the speed limit not only in the instrument cluster but also in the heads up display and it also gets cross traffic alert which will tell you if traffic is coming from either side you can adjust the passenger seat as well press that button and then you can move the passenger seat too which is again a nice touch cruise control is there it gets collision avoid assistance too and then you can decide if you want the engine to charge the battery which is also possible this is to turn off traction control system and coming here let me show you the best thing i like about this vehicle is the fact that you can decide how you want the audio system to work so you can get into sound experience and you can decide studio individual stage or even a concert hall the audio quality is simply brilliant bowers and wilkins makes one of the best audio systems in the world but before i play the audio let me show you the heads up display you can see that the heads up display will show you road sign information as well as the speed there's a ticket holder here auto dimming inside rear view mirror this mirror also gets a compass here not from jeep though light placement here and here obviously you get a light as well as a mirror same is the case here light as well as a mirror beautiful finishing of the vehicle you can see this beautiful stitching as well and there's this gloss black finish in the center there's a lot of wood here you can see the wood here and these are actually controls for the audio system as well as the defogger and the hazard light meanwhile this is the engine start stop button this is so beautifully crafted of crystal and feels good to operate this is the drive mode selector you can press this and you can decide if you want it in all wheel drive you want it in pure which happens to be pure electric drive but you need the battery to be charged enough hybrid mode is for everyday use they say where obviously the battery and the engine work in conjunction and power is for sporty driving there's off road mode and there's individual which you can alter according to your preferences now of course i'm just going to keep it in power at the moment because that seems like the best setting but you know what when you put it into hybrid mode or pure mode the tachometer vanishes when you get into power mode the tachometer comes back because this is a digital screen of course the rear screen the one with which i was okay this one when you open this this happens to be a 4.3 inch unit this happens to be a 12.3 inch unit and this is also a digital cluster which tells you each and everything you want to know now there's another nice party trick here now if you press this button you can navigate through a lot of information right from trip media phone and navigation it will tell you how much kilometers the car is done what is the fuel economy like what is the order what is the trip what is the distance to empty a lot of functions there as well in fact there's a distance to empty for the engine there's a distance to empty for the electric motor as well unfortunately i have drank all the juice from the electric motor it doesn't have any charge left whatsoever gear position indicator there there's a map here there's a speedometer both digital as well as analog and everything feels so nicely done and well positioned these are obviously the controls for the cruise control and this also doubles up as the volume this is for voice commands if you press any of these arrow buttons it will increase or decrease the volume of the audio system meanwhile this is to go behind or forward for a track however if i press this button here it will open this small multi information display and then i can browse through this so it actually doubles up meanwhile these are the controls for the wipers now this is for the rear wiper and there's a lot of spray on offer but where are the nozzles the nozzles are actually placed on the wipers itself yes you can see the nozzles are actually placed on the wipers very smartly done volvo very smartly done now this stock is obviously for the indicators as well as for the headlight controls and these buttons are for the front and rear fog lights too meanwhile as you can see the cabin is really very well done reeks of quality in fact there's excellent quality on offer good amount of comfort and obviously you can extend the cushion too so here under thigh support is not an issue at all 
the horn is simply brilliant the steering feels great to hold and this car is loaded with a lot of features you would expect at this price point unfortunately to adjust the steering it's still a manual function although it's both for reach as well as rake i expect electric adjust at this price point now let me turn off the car okay car has been turned off so when i turn on the car it will remind me of all the features this car is present with let's quickly play an audio right away Audio quality is simply brilliant. This Bowers and Wilkins audio system is mind-bogglingly awesome. Gives just the right notes, and this ventilated seats, heated seats, massage functions is available on all the seats. Great comfort on offer. Feels really supreme, and this excellent trim actually justifies its price tag.